Hello guys, welcome once again to the class. Thank you so much for always being on time, people that is already here. Thank you very much for that. So as always ask you before starting the class, I would like to know if you all can hear me clearly. So is there any interference or something? Is it clear? No, not the chat, it's clear. 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 Perfect, thank you very much for that. So as I said, thank you very much for being on time. I do appreciate that it shows part of your responsibility, the fact that you are here on time. I'm pretty sure the other ones are going to be connecting through, through the session or probably in some minutes. So um, how are you doing today, guys? How was your day? Was it good? Hard work. <laughs> really, I, I completely understand that. I know that some of you work during the day and some of you probably just arrived from your job and it takes like responsibility and effort to be here because I understand that some of you might be tired, but you're still here trying to learn something new and something that is going to help you probably in your jobs or something like that. So, but thank you so much for your commitment and your responsibility of being here. So yesterday guys, we saw or we try to learn about intonation and pronunciation about some words, stressing some words in how uh, you have to pronounce some words like to sound more like a native speaker. Okay, so today we are going to continue. The first part of this class is going to be still about pronunciation. And I will ask you to participate, some of you, just to verify if there's something else that we still need to work on or if, uh, if it was clear, I mean, about what we saw yesterday, okay? So just let me try to share the screen. Let me see. Let me try to check here. Okay. So can you guys see it? You guys see it? Hello, can you see it, guys? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Just let me see. Okay. Perfect. So now let me see, I would like to, to ask for a volunteer if someone would like to help me just to verify or I will have to choose someone. So do I have a volunteer right now or do I have to choose someone? Well, so it looks like I will have to choose someone, let me see. So in that case, I will choose uh, Vilma Melendez. Okay. Okay, Vilma. So let me listen to you. Remember what we said yesterday, the words that we have in capital letters, I need you to make the stress there or to emphasize uh, to make a different sound there. So let me listen to you. Let's see. Let's go. Okay. I I I don't know. I didn't understand yesterday, but I I read it for you. Okay, just try to do it. Okay, just let's see the way to do it, and then we are going to have someone else so you can check if this person did it. Right now, just try to do it the way you think it is. Okay. The Greens will never agree to that. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the stress is in Greens, mm -hmm. but I don't know about Greens. Okay, let's let's move on. Let's go, let's continue with the second. The Greens will never agree to that. 
The Greens will never agree to that. Okay. The Greens will never agree to that. Okay, that, that was actually good. Thank you very much for your participation. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, let me see. We have here. Maximo, are you there, Maximo? Are you there? Yes. Oh, okay. So uh, let's see, Maximo. Let's let let me see the way you do it. <laughs> let me listen to you. The Greens will never agree to that. Mm -hmm. The Greens will never agree to that. Okay. The Greens will never agree to that. Okay. The Greens will never agree to that. Thank you very much. That was fantastic, actually. So as you can see, um, let me ask you to ask you in general. This question is for all of you. When I emphasize, when I make the stress in a different word, the same sentence, because as you can see, we have the same sentence here four times. What do we do differently? The different thing or something different that we do is just extract different words from the same sentence. So let me ask you, this is the question for you all. Does the meaning changes or does the meaning change when I put the stress in different words? Does it change? Yes, no. I think yes, teacher. Okay, Bilma, thank you so much for that. Other ones, what do you guys think? Does it change or not? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Evie. What about the other ones? Rosemary, what do you think? Does it change? Rosemary. Hi. Do you think that the meaning changes here if I put the stress in different words? No. Do you think that the meaning changes? El significado cambia? Does it change? Mm, What do you think? Or the sense or the significado no, no cambia solo la pronunciación. Okay. En cada palabra. Okay, thank you so much for that. So let's see. If I have, if I read the first one, the greens will never agree to that. What I'm doing, or what Rosemary said, the meaning doesn't change because we are just saying the same thing. What changes is the sense of the sentence. For example, when I say the greens, I'm emphasizing or I am referring as specifically to the family that are called or the last name of the family is green. Okay, the greens. When I say the greens will never, I'm just emphasizing the fact that they will never agree to something like that. When I say the greens will never agree to that, I'm once again just emphasizing the fact that they will never ever uh, agree to something like that. The use of the verb in that case. And when I say the greens will never agree, I'm sorry, agree to that, I'm just emphasizing the fact that I'm referring to something and that something is that the greens will never agree to that. I don't know if I made myself clear, no sé si está si me di entender. Is it clear for all of you? 
the what I was trying to say or you got lost in certain part of part of what I was saying. Eh, teacher, a mí me cuesta un poco entenderle el inglés así bastante de corrido a veces en algunas explicaciones. Ok, that's what I was telling you last time, por eso es que les dije tú? al inicio, les dije, guys, if you are not understanding, si no están entendiendo, pregunten. So I will, I will refresh the information again. Le voy a repetir la información so you can understand, ok? But if you do not understand, si no entienden, digan, ok, teacher, por favor, vea, todavía lo estoy traduciendo en la mente, cálmese un poquitito, vea, sí, so it's understandable, I completely understand that, I know that you are still learning the language, and sometimes, eh, como que a uno es, se le va la situación y empieza a hablar y hablar y hablar y hablar, and that's, that's normal. I'm sorry if sometimes I did that and probably you didn't understand. So the next time, Rosemary, if you don't understand, tell me, okay? Teacher, can you explain me once again? Okay, please. So, no, this one we did it yesterday. So let me, let me check this one. Just let me double check the slide here. So we can, Okay, no. All right, yes, we're going to do this one. And this is going to be the last one. So in this case, I will need Sonia, Ana Maritza, Nancy Maldonado, and let me see who else. Claudia. All of you are going to read what I'm going to share right now. So I will need, let me see. I will need the first person to read example number one, second person number two and number three, third person number four and number five, and the last one number six and number seven. Did you understand? Yes. Okay, let's go. Example. I mm -hmm. never say she took my money. Mm -hmm. Person one, I never say she took my money. Okay, Sonia. There, what you did is that you emphasize the Luisiste saying never in no never. I. Because when you said I never, so I escuché el emphasis or the stress on never. Have to emphasize, I never said she took money. You see, the emphasize there. Let's be careful, but thank you very much for participating. Okay. okay. Number two. Number two. Ana Maritza. We cannot listen to you, Ana Maritza. I don't know if you have your microphone off or on. Uh, I never said Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's only me, but I... I, I... never... Uh-huh. I never said she... They... Okay. Uh, was it only me? Was it only me or uh, what she said was not understandable because it was uh, probably the connection is not good. Was it only me or you, you listened to the same thing? Similar teacher. Okay, cool. So I thought it was just me. Okay, let's go with, uh, with person number three. Here, person number three, please. Well, let me see. So I will select someone else. Let me see. Uh, Emperatriz Lopez, go ahead, Emperatriz. 
Help me reading the person number four sentence. Let's go. Okay. I never say she took my money. Okay. Yesterday, guys, I told you how to pronounce this word. How do we pronounce that? This one right here. So I never said. Said. We never said. Okay. Nunca lo pronunciamos said. We say said. said. Okay. Como que usted tiene said. Like you have. Tengo said. said. In Spanish. The same way you're going to say it in English. Okay. Say it again, Emperatriz. If please. I never say. No. Said. Sell. Sell. No. I never. No, no, no. We, we do not we do not pronounce the letter L. No pronunciamos L. Solo pronunciamos sed. Como cuando usted dice en español, tengo sed. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. I never sell. Uh -huh. She took my money. Okay. Tell me with number five, too. I never say, said. Uh -huh. I never said she took my money. Okay, very good. What about to number six? Let me see Nancy Gutierrez, person number six. Okay, teacher. I never say she took my money. Again, Nancy, how do we pronounce this word? Said. We pronounce it said, okay. said, no say. Okay. No, we say said, said. I never said, okay. Thank you. Let's see. Rosemary, let's go with person number seven. I never said she took my money. Okay, very good. So guys, uh, do you have any questions so far when it comes to intonation and stress of the words? Something that you would like me to repeat you again about it or clear on that part? Well, so silence say, says more than a thousand words. So I will take that silence as a no, that's clear, okay? So let's move on to today's topic. Today, guys, we're going to be focusing a little bit on how to make questions with how. What does how means, guys? What does that mean? What does how mean, guys? Am I talking to myself today? Do you guys listen to me? Yes, Tishan. Yes. 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 Okay, cool. So today we are going to check some WH questions and I'm pretty sure that all of you already know how to use WH questions. Now, can someone tell me what is the WH question? Missing on all these ones that we have on the picture on the screen. I seen one. Does one is missing? Two. Which one is it? Hello. Repeat, teacher, please. Okay, let me see. But are you listening to me like clearly? Am I talking clearly to you or? Yes, teacher, but teacher, I don't teacher, know why. La, what la verdad que yo lo escucho un poco con interferencia. No sé si es mi dispositivo, pero sí, a veces me cuesta entender. Oh, okay. Teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yo sí escucho, eh, mi problema es el mismo de la compañera, me quedo, me quedo atrás, entonces me quedo traduciendo. Ok, I understand. 
<laughs> okay, so I, I will try to speak like a little bit slow so you can kind of understand what I'm saying. Y es, pues, también lo que me sucede es que tengo poco vocabulario, entonces sí me quedo como, es más, tengo el traductor a la par para ir viendo ahí lo que me quedé. Okay, okay no, I mean, I mean, that's, that's helpful, okay? Eh, hay veces es necesario agarrar herramientas que nos ayuden a ponernos como al día, so to understand. Or sometimes my problem is that I... Um, Muchas veces tiendo a hablar como un poco rápido y como que me agarro la, lo de la loca. Bla, 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 bla. So I speak too fast. And probably that's what happened. So, but I will try to, well, I'm talking too fast and you are not understanding. Por favor, háganmelo saber, okay? So I can slow down a little bit so you can understand. So my question was, is there any WH question missing on these ones? I mean, I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It, does wall. it exist? Which one you said? Wall, maybe. Wall, how do you spell that? Uh, w. W. O, o U L D U L D okay. okay let's see what do what do the other ones think is is it correct who what when which were how why hmm. I miss anyone there is there anyone missing or those are the only ones that exist? Well, what language were how, why, who, who, teacher, no, oh, no, yes, how, no, no idea. idea? Nobody has an idea, right? No, teacher. Okay, so the one that is missed there is one of the questions or the WH questions that we was. Only use, which was whose. What whose mean? What does who's. that mean? ¿Qué significa? Who's. De quién. De quién, exactly. So use whose is because you are going to try to know who does something belong to, belongings, personal belongings or ownership of something, okay? So now I will need everyone to read those WH questions. Empezar en orden. Let's empezar with, we're going to start with Claudia. You are going to be the first one. Then we're going to go with Juan Cruz. Elizabeth Giron, you're going to be number three. Luis Marcelo, number four. Nancy Maldonado, six. Rosemary, seven. Sonia Kelly, eight. Emperatriz, nine. Nancy Gutierrez, ten. Maximo, eleven. Evie, 12, Vilma 13, 13, Alba 15, Patricia 16, and Damaris Vega 17. Okay, so you already know your order. Please go ahead and read them all. Who? Hmm? Uh, all of them. All uh, of them. Who, what, when, which, where, how, why? This one? Um, was. Hmm, okay, something there. Okay, number two. Who, 
Guys, who is number two? Are you paying attention, guys? Les acabo de dar sus números y ya se les olvidó. Who is number two? Oh, me. Okay, One. let's no. Okay, Juan, let's go. Who, what, when, which, where, how, why, who's. Okay, let's move on, number three. Who, what, when, which, where, how, why, who's. Okay, number four. Who, where, where, what, when, mm -hmm. which, where, how, why, who's. Okay, the next one. Who is the next one, guys? Okay, let's go. Who, what, when, why, mm -hmm. where, how, why, who's. Okay, thank you very much. The next one. Who, what, when, which, where, how, why, who's. Thank you very much. Who's the next one? Hello, guys. Who is the next one? What, when, which, where, how, why, who's. Okay, thank you very much. The next one. ¿Qué número va? Y just do it. It's your turn. Let's go, Emperatriz. I think it was you. Let's go. Okay. Who, what, when, which, where, how, why? Post. Okay, thank you very much. Who is the next one? Who, what, when, which, where, how, why, who's? Thank you very much. Who is the next one? Who, what, when, which, where, how, why, who's? Okay, thank you. The next one. Who is the next one? Who, what, when, which, where, who, why, who's. Thank you very much. The next one. Who, what, when, which, where, how, why, who's. Okay, so now everyone participated and let me tell you what I learned or what I heard from you. I heard that some of you are pronouncing this one like, let me write it down so you can see it. Something like this. I heard that some others were pronouncing the same word as so, how do we pronounce this WH question correctly? That's the point. No me estaban pronunciando wish. Algo otros estaban diciendo which. So, how do we pronounce correctly? ¿Cómo la pronunciamos correctamente? We say which. Which. The sound that you have to do is la che de nuestro español. Che, like which. Which. Evitar de hacer el sonidito de la letra T, como este de acá, like this one. Let me, let me close that. I'm going to say this word. 
Si usted hace un mínimo sonidito de la letra T, no está preguntando cuál o cuáles, sino que está diciendo bruja. So, be careful with that. Also, in the pronunciation. If you say wish, está diciendo cuáles, sino que deseo. Right? Wish. So listen to the pronunciation. Which and wish. Do you listen a difference? Si escuchan la diferencia entre las tres palabras? Or do yeah. you listen them all the same? Uh -huh. Son. Um, no, de las últimas dos palabras, si sí, no, no logro captar la, la, la the pronunciación. Difference. The difference. Exacto. Mm -hmm. Ok. The only difference, Sonia, is in this word, what we do is that we pronounce the T sound. We make the sound of the letter T. So we, which, which. And this one, we say, wish, right? They're going through your teeth. This one, we say, which, which. You see, the T sound is not pronounced there. El de la letra T que hacemos acá el pequeño sonido ya no se hace en esta pregunta. So that's the difference. But we have to be really careful with that because I think that we are asking a question, but probably the person in front of us is not going to understand that. Very clear. And I do understand, entiendo que hay veces las palabras pueden sonar un poco locas las pronunciaciones. Because we are not used to that. We used in Spanish to speak in that way. But once we practice it, we're going to learn as much as possible. Another one. I heard, escuché que algunos pronuncian how instead of in how. A who. What, when, which, where, how, and why. And the one that was here, whose. Okay? So, those are the pronunciations that we are going to use. Now, something very important that you need to understand is that a WH question cannot be answered with a yes or no. Nunca podemos responder con un sí o con un no. Pregunta o le hace una pregunta con WH. O if I ask you, where are you from? Usted no me va a decir yes. I'm asking you, where are you from? You see? Never ever when we have a WH question won't be possible to answer with a yes or no. Keep that in mind. Let's move on. Now, we're going to go through this very fast because I'm pretty sure that you already know how to use that. So we're just going to move on and we're going to just focus how, which is the most important or the one that we are going to be working with today. So we have who, who when we want to know the name of a person. For example, who is he? Yes, my teacher. Now, let me listen to you. How do you make the difference in pronunciation from this word to this word? Let me see, vamos a ver someone. Uh, Vilma Melendez. How do you make the difference in pronunciation between this word and the word. How do you pronounce them? Teacher and teacher. Was, that was good, actually. Evie, can you do the same thing, please? Teacher and teacher. That was good. Nancy, let's see. Teacher. Mm-hmm. Okay. T-shirt and t-shirt. Okay. 
All right, let me see Sonia. Can you help me with the same thing? Teacher and teacher. Okay, that was good actually, guys. The only difference that we do when we pronounce is that this CH we pronounce it as in Spanish, like la ch que nosotros tenemos in Spanish, right? Teacher, teacher. And this one is like shh, arriando pollo, something like that, okay? T-shirt, t-shirt. And this one, teacher, okay? That's the only difference that we made when we made the pronunciation. And very important as well, guys, is the intonation when you make a question. And it's not the same if I say he as if I say who is he. You listen, that's the difference. Because I'm pretty sure, like even in Spanish, alguna vez alguien le ha preguntado o le ha dicho a usted, eh, afirmación o me estás preguntando. We do that in Spanish, right? What happens in English. Lo mismo sucede en inglés. Si usted no articula bien o no hace la entonación de una question, el receptor no va a entender si usted está haciendo una pregunta o si usted está afirmando. So, if you ask that in Spanish, the same is going to happen in English. Okay? So, intonation of a question is very important. Okay? So, let's move on. I'm going to need... Uh, help with three questions con las primeras tres with the first three then i need nancy with another three and claudia with the last two let's go rosemary lo siento es que se escucha un poco cortado no escuché mi nombre oh, las okay. primeras tres yes who are you? Who is he? Mm -hmm. Who is she? Okay. Who is your best friend? Very good. That was a good intonation, actually. Let's move on. Who is calling? Or calling? No, calling. Calling. Mm -hmm. Who what some ice cream? Mm -hmm. Who asked? Um, who asked? Mm -hmm. um, that question. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Claudia. Yo era Claudia. Oh, that was you. So I was not Nancy. Then. Yes. Okay, Nancy, go ahead, Nancy. Who is faster? Mm -hmm. Who is the most? Okay, very good. So now let's move on to the next one, which is what this we are going to use it, guys, when we want to know about an object, an idea, or we want to know about an action. Okay, for example, what is that? Pencil. So I'm pretty sure that you understand that because that is a very common question that we do in the English language. Vilma Melendez, the first three, then we go with Evie, another three, and finish with Maximo at the last three, please. Go ahead. Okay. What is it? What is that? What date is, is it? Mm -hmm. What is it like? What do you want to eat? What are you doing? Very good. What time is it? What do you do? What does your father do? Excellent. Very good. So, let's move on to when. We're going to use when when we want to name to talk about the time. Example, when does class start? It starts at three o'clock, okay? So every single time that you want to know about the time, and when I say time, I do not refer only to hours. I refer to 
months, days, years, decades, centuries, and so on and so on and so on. Everything that it, that it refers to the time, every single time that you want to know about time, you will have to use the WH question when. All right, let me, so let's move on. Elizabeth Giron, I need you to help me with the first three. Then I need Luis to help me with another three. And Alba Marisol with the last three. Let's go. When is your your birthday? Birthday. When the pardon? Birthday. Birthday. Uh -huh. Remember the TH, birthday. recordémonos la letra TH siempre con una Z. Birthday, okay? When is your birthday? Okay. When is the field trip? Okay. When does the movie start? Thank you very much. Let's move on. When does the movie start? No, no, no. When does... right okay. When does the train arrive? Arrive. When did you arrive? When did you do your homework? When are you free? Thank you very much. Alba. Alba Marisol, are you there? Okay, Alba. Hello. Hello. Well, we can we can we barely hear you. It's like we well, listen. You're very far, far away. We are you afraid? No, I, no. Well, I don't know if that's only me. We cannot listen to you well, uh, Alba. So um, I will ask someone else to participate because it's like we we listen to you, but very far, like like a block away or something like that. So, but thank you so much for that. Probably it's a, it's a situation with your phone or I don't know, internet connection is not well. Probably so. I Cecilia, to help me reading the last three. Good evening. Uh, when were you born? Mm -hmm. When is their anniversary? Mm -hmm. When does the class finish? Okay. Let's move on with where. We're going to use where when we want to name a place or location. For example, we have where are my books? They're on the desk. So every single time that you want to know about a location or a place of something like that, you will always have to use the WH question where. So now we'll ask for uh, Ana Maritza, first three, the Maris, another three, and we're going to finish with Juan Cruz, the last three. Go ahead. Hello. Teacher, excuse me. I am the first or, or the third. Oh, you're you're the second one. Thank you. So who is the first one though? Where are my glasses? Glasses? Where uh -huh. they post office? Okay, thank you very much. Where the mark. Where, where are my glasses? Mommy. Where Mommy. is the post office? 
Mommy. Where are you from? Okay. Well, okay. Let me see. Uh, Juan, can you help me with the last four? Because where do you work? Uh huh. Where do you want to go? Uh huh. Where is Canada on the map? Where is Canada on the map? Thank you very much. Now, why uh, we are going to use why, guys, every single time that you want to know about a reason or a purpose of, of something. Every single time when someone asks you about like, why or why not, you will always have to answer that question with because. Okay. So every single time that you listen, why? Usted va a responder, because, blah, 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 okay? So that's something that you always have to remember. No utilizamos because para pregunta. We never use that, okay? We have, seen, uh, we have seen some people like sometimes has used this as a, as a question. Alguna vez escuchamos a alguien que dijo, because are you happy? We cannot say that. So, aunque significa por qué, we cannot say because are you happy? No. For what we use why, okay? Why and we want to make or want to reply or respond to that question, we're going to say because. That's very simple. So let me see, Maximo, are you still here? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me help. Uh, help me, please, with the with the first. Then I will need Rosemary and Sonia. The first one. No, the first three. Okay. Why are you sad? Mm -hmm. Why are you crying? Mm -hmm. Why are you laughing? Okay, this one we say laughing. Laughing. Okay. The letter G H sounds like a letter F. Uh huh. So we're going to say laugh, either laugh or laughing. Okay. Very good. Sir so Rosemary. Where are you late? Why was Chris not a excuse? Excuse me. Why was Chris not a school yesterday? Okay. Where, why are you running? Mm -hmm. Sonia. Why do people exercise? Mm -hmm. Why do we need to study English? Okay. Why do you think he did that? Okay, thank you very much. Now, let me ask you, is there any word or any something of those questions that you do not understand? Or Laughing, want... teacher. I'm sorry? Laughing? What Laughing. is the meaning? When laughing? someone asks you, why are you laughing? Por qué te está riendo? Why are you oh. laughing? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right, any other questions so far? Do you understand all the questions? They are understandable, right? Okay, so let's move on. We have which here, and we are going to use that when we want to give a choice. What does this means that you have a and a B, and you have to decide between two things. For example, here we have that this is ice cream, okay? We have a red and we have a yellow. So we have two options. That's why it says give a choice. So the person wants to ask, which one do you want? Quieres de estas dos, because we have two options. Tenemos dos opciones. So every single time, cada vez que tengamos más de una opción, we are going to use which, okay? For example, if I ask you, um, which language do you like? English or French? How would you? I like English. <laughs> I like English. Okay. You can say something like that. I like English. That's perfect. So as you can see, 
I ask you the question which because I have two languages. I said English and I said French. So we have two options, okay? So every single time that you have more than one option, you are going to use which. So, sure. yes. Can I select both options? Both options, like for example, uh, with the same questions. Okay, let me see. If I ask you the same question, like which, which do you prefer, English or French? But you have the two options there. It will be up to you if you decide just for one or if you want to say both. Say, I like English and French. That's perfect. You can use both. That's not a problem. Okay. So what I was trying to say is that when you have more than one option, you have to use the WH question. But when you give the answer question, you can decide if you want two options, three options, or four options. It will be up to you. Teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, which always agree one. Uh, I, I didn't I didn't quite understand your question. Say that uh, the the wish always uh, agree uh, to the the word one or one. Um okay the um, I mean what you're trying to say is that uh, if I ask the question which like in this example this, this word one is referring to these two options. Is that what you mean? No, I refer to question. When okay. we uh -huh. tell which, only which, or oh, I agree which one. Oh, okay. I understand now. I think I understand. So when you say which one, it's because it's a one. Está omitiendo decir estas dos cosas. Está ese one, which one, está omitiendo decir ice cream. Porque yo pudiera decir, which ice cream do you want? Pero no quiero decir ice cream. Yo omito la palabra ice cream y utilizo one. Y digo, which one do you want? One lo voy a utilizar únicamente Cuando la persona que está enfrente de mí o la persona que le estoy haciendo la pregunta ya sabe a qué me refiero. Si la persona no sabe a qué me refiero y solo le estoy dando las dos opciones, yo voy a tener que decir la palabra ahí. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, cool. Thank you, teacher. All right, so hope it helped. So let me see, Rosemary, I will need your help with the first I'm sorry, Rosemary. Uh, Claudia, again, with the last three. Which one is it? Which one is it? No, this one right here. Ah, excuse. Which one do you prefer? Prefer? Uh huh. Which teacher do you like the most? Mm -hmm. Which of my book, would you like to borrow? Borrow, okay. Thank you, Mary. Which one is it? Mm -hmm. Which way is it to delivery? Okay, way. We say way and we say library. Which way uh -huh. it is to the library? Excellent. Okay. Okay. Um, which restaurant? Chai? No, no, sé cómo se pronuncia. Shall. 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 Shall we go? Which restaurant? Shall we go? Okay. No sé cómo pronunciar de corrido. No sé si podría pronunciarme la última oración. Yeah, it's like, we, which way is it to the library? Or you say, which restaurant shall we go to? Thanks. Okay, let's move on. And this is very important, guys. These 
question. Esta pregunta no es comúnmente utilizada. We sometimes use it and with some others we do not. We ask the question whose is because we want to know or we want to show possession or ownership. Possession, right? Possession or ownership or propiedad. If I say whose shirt is on the floor, la camisa de quien está es on the floor. I can say the shirt of John is on the floor. Or, yo puedo utilizar una forma contractada y decir John's shirt is on the floor. Okay? I can say de las dos formas. I can say, for example, if I say, let me see, Sonia. I will ask you a question. Whose earphones are you using? Do you have any, any idea of how to respond to that question? Sí. Okay. Oh, okay. Whose earphones are those? What is the mean of those? Those. Let me write it down to you. Those. I'm trying to say something like this. Estos. Yes. So whose uh, earphones are those? Do you have any idea? Sí, tengo una idea. Eh, si lo que es era como posesión, es como que si me estuviera preguntando de quién son los auriculares. Sí. Those, yes, those. Estos. En este caso, yo te estoy preguntando esos, porque ahorita esos. tú los tienes, no yo. Ok. So, a possible answer to that. It's my... You can say it's mine or this is mine. This is mine, referring to that. But that was perfect though. The answer was correct, okay? So the other ones, los demás, si sí entendemos, si sí estamos entendiendo cómo utilizar este who's. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Como que mañana hacemos un examen y todos diez con who's. <laughs> Okay, here we have another example. Whose pen is on the desk? Whose pen is on the desk? That is my pen on the desk. As you can see, we can use different forms of answering that question, okay? We can use a contracted form or we can use a long form to say that. Okay, so we're going to move on to the most important part, which is this one. And we are going to try to understand how to use how. How we can use it in very different situations. How it's used to ask about the way something is done, the condition of something or the degree of something. Okay, so here we have, tenemos muchas formas de utilizar how. Si yo quiero de la distancia, yo voy a utilizar how far, que significa que tan lejos. Si saber del tiempo o el espacio, yo voy a decir how long, que significa hace cuánto. Si saber de la cantidad, how many. Si saber de cantidad incontable, how much. Si quiero Ver la edad, how old, ¿sí? Nunca se le va a ocurrir preguntarle a alguien, how many years do you have? ¿Por qué lo decimos en inglés? ¿Para cuántos años tiene? With, how old are you, ¿ok? So, and, para una reacción o razón informal, 
Si alguien le dice, for example, we have an exam tomorrow. Tenemos un examen mañana. Y usted le dice, how come? Como por qué? How come? Como por qué? That's the reason, okay? So, because of the time, guys, it's already time for us to finish the class. So we're going to continue this information tomorrow, okay? We, I'm going to explain you tomorrow a little bit more about how to use how, and we are going to have more practices about the WH questions. I would like to know that if before we go, is there any question that you might have? Alguna pregunta? No. Que tengan? No? no question. No. 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 Okay, so that's going to be all for today, guys. See you tomorrow at the same time by the same panel, okay? So I hope you all have a good night. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye.